is basically saving money on your mobile phone that you can uh, use to access healthcare services in a fa in any facility that has is, is that takes that uh, MTBA for payment. So MTBA is basically M for mobile. TBA is treatment in Swahili, so it's mobile treatment. In Kenya, mobile phone access has reached almost 90% and higher. So majority of the Kenyan population have access to a mobile phone. And a large percentage of that use feature phones, uh, which is the simple regular mobile phone. And we thought the best way to gain access for medical care would be through that device. And so we use USSD platform on the mobile phone to help Kenyans access medical care. We came up as partners and thought, what is it that we can do to take advantage of the digital agenda, to take advantage of the fact that uh, Kenya has been, has been on, a, on an upward trend in mobile phone penetration. And since for both of us as partners, our interest is very much within the health space, that is how we came to think about how can we even first uh, ring fence funds just for health care. Hapo nyuma kabla sija juu mtiba kulikuwa na nilikuwa naenda kwa hospitali nikitumia cash na sometime nilikuwa naweza kupa pesa ama familia nza kuonjeka bila nikujua so ilikuwa hard kwa kuweza kumtibu kabla sija juu mtiba awareness whereby building a system like this and then getting it out into the market where it's not been met before it was difficult to explain to people what it is and what it does but for us, language is not a challenge because, for example, when we go on radio, we use the local languages that people understand the best to communicate the message. All you have to do is to save money. Once you've saved enough, you can go to a facility and you open your wallet and they're able to give you the service that you require. Kuna wakati mkwa wangu alikuwa mgonjo. Nika mpeleka hospitali kuna clinic ya Olive Link. Nilimfikisha hapo wakati nilikuwa naenda kumtibu sikuwa na pesa ya kutosha. Wakanielezea kuzu mpango wa kujipanga kimaisha na MTiba ambayo ina, inaraizisha maisha ya watu ambao wanapata mapato ya chini. Some of the successes we've had with MTiba is that we have 1 million people on the platform. That was no mean feat and we we're really happy and proud to have come this far. Beyond that, we have almost 600 hospitals who are working with us in a network across the country providing healthcare services. And third, we've gained acceptance in the market. People are starting to use the platform as a solution for their healthcare needs. We have over a million Kenyans now on the platforms. And for a platform that just started in 2016, we think that this is a major success for us. Beyond that, we have partnerships that are flourishing. We have a great story about the Simiu family who use MTBA for their healthcare needs. Their husband saves money on MTBA for their wife's uh, healthcare needs, and she had her child by saving money on the platform quite recently. MTBA has a limit. We save at a common tempo. We see what we need to chini. Ama wale wenye hatuwezi pata salary kila mwisho wa mwezi. Tuneza ku, wakati unapata pesa kidogo, uneza save 10 bob. Iyo unajua umesha uweka akiba ya, ya matibabu badai. Like if they saved money on MTBA and someone gets sick, they're able to seek um, healthcare services early enough, as opposed to when they don't, they don't have any money saved, so that will mean that they have to call neighbors or relatives to help them fundraise to take the sick person to the hospital. So within the digital space, if you can be able to reach somebody through a mobile phone, this means a whole different discussion at that particular level. You can now be able to look for, to get somebody the benefits they deserve. If you're looking at treatment for malaria, you don't need to go door to door you can be able to give a voucher, an entitlement, just on a mobile phone. So with the fact that we're now seeing a lot of um, 
uh, growth in terms of mobile phone penetration, in terms of using uh, mobile phones for financial services and mobile money. I think health is the next big beneficiary.